that the increase in diabetes in our community right now is really due to our increasing rate of overweight and obesity. Um, we're also incredibly inactive and uh, that doesn't help at all. It's those genetic and environmental factors that we really have to worry about. And also our population is changing, our communities are changing, there's more ethnicity and uh, people who, non-whites actually have a higher risk of type 2 diabetes in particular. You can really prevent diabetes mostly by taking care of the risk factors that you can modify, which is staying active and exercising and keeping your weight as close to ideal as possible. And that's kind of keeping a BMI, that's the body mass index, under 25. And for some ethnic, eth ethnicities, like Asians, we want it actually under 23. Um, and there's ways that you can check on that and uh, to, to calculate what your BMI is. It has something to do with your height and your weight. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune process where part of our own bodies actually attacks part the cells in our pancreas that make insulin, so the person is not making insulin. 90 to 95% of people with diabetes have type 2. Um, it is the kind that is more often seen in people who are older who are, um, again, of ethnicity, non-whites, um, if you're more overweight or obese, uh, and if you have a family history. Those are the risk factors for type 2 diabetes. Well, in general, in my practice, I really don't like to restrict patients by telling them that they need to cut something out or forbid any kind of food. Now, it is true that we need to balance our carbohydrates and our sugars, too. So, it's actually a myth that diabetics cannot eat sugar it's okay to have it, but you have to put it in the context of a portion control, moderate meal plan. So just like, the, just like a diabetic, the rest of us, those that don't have diabetes, also have to be very careful about how we eat. So no, I don't really think that cutting carbs or sugars is necessary, but certainly balancing it with a well-planned meal plan. Unfortunately, we do not have a cure for diabetes yet, but it is important for us to take care of our bodies, modify our risk factors, the things that we've talked about already. And certainly, if you think that you are at risk, I recommend that you get checked by your primary care physician. And you can always visit BaylorHealth.com or call 1-800-4-BAYLOR to find a physician.